Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to give you a daily dose of dis dismal Disney adjacent content. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny content. We're going to be funny. We're going to talk about this uh, Disney adjacent content. Uh, yeah, so, you know... Disney's copyrights are starting to lapse, right? Mm -hmm. Well, so, this, this, this isn't... Disney still owns the likenesses of their characters. However, the stories that they might have stories about, the, the copyrights are, are now public domain on some things. Now, not all of Winnie the Pooh is public domain. I don't think Tigger is yet, but should be soon. Tigger some was other in characters. a later book. Yeah. Some of the later characters that haven't been public domain yet will be going into public domain shortly. So we already, we already had uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Which everybody um, says was a terrible movie, but somehow they're making a sequel. Somehow they're making a sequel to it. We've got a Peter Pan horror movie with obese, yes. drug-addicted Tinkerbell. Oh, is that what they said they were going to do? Obese, drug-addict Tinkerbell. Okay, yes. I haven't heard that one, but I did know they were they were basing it more on um, some of the, the theories around the original book, which was from 1904, by the way. And people keep pointing out what that we had to dust. we had to change it for the new Peter Pan and Wendy because of the of the misogyny and the sexism and I'm like it was 1904, okay? And the, the Lost Boys, you know, the idea was that they never grew up because they're dead and all other crap. So they were going to make a, a new uh, Peter Pan movie. Yeah, uh, Neverland Nightmare, which I don't know if we did a video on it. I know we have articles on it, Pirates know. and Princesses. They're doing Neverland Nightmare. I know they're doing Bambi, a Bambi one. Going on, we talked about it on the blog before, too. It's Bambi the Reckoning because, you know, you killed his mom. So now he's just like... Mega pissed. Mega pissed. So not, Bambi the Reckoning. Just, he's not just pissed. He's mega pissed. Actually, uh, we played a game on the gaming channel, Clownfish Gaming. Go after that. We have a gaming channel. Did you know that? We do a gaming channel. We actually did live streams. We do a lot of things. We do a lot of things. Like we do, we have a whole nother channel that we do live streams on all the time. You guys are always complaining we don't do live streams on Clownfish. Well, we gotta do a live stream on Clownfish too. We're, we're coming we're, soon. Yeah, we're going to. We it's not to me. We it's have, neon. We have to <laughs> so. get things. We have to get things settled. We've had a lot of it's stuff neon, going on. It's neon, not me. Um, but we do a lot of streams over on the gaming channel. I'm going to be doing more art videos over there and stuff. Anyway, we played a game called uh, Deer Simulator. Deer Simulator, yeah. And it was like that. It was like Bambi with guns Bambi in the anime. It was actually pretty cool. So he's a bloodthirsty killer in Bambi the Reckoning because Bambi is now public domain, apparently. So, yeah, as these old stories go to public domain, they're immediately being uh, co-opted into uh, other films, other genres of films. I want but us to make some crazy stuff with the Disney stuff. That'd be fun. Well, you can't use the Disney's likenesses. Like, we Disney wouldn't. still owns the likenesses of their characters. Yes, I want to yes. make that very clear. No, that's the thing. Okay. They're still trademarked to Disney. So this is where people are going to get hung up because they're like, oh, Mickey Mouse is coming into public domain. It might be a very specific version of Mickey Mouse yes. that doesn't look like the current trademark version of Because every Mickey time Mouse. they change Mickey Mouse, that's considered a different Mickey Mouse. Yes. So like we're seeing about Willie's version of Mickey Mouse might be public domain. You know, another yeah. one from like later on would not be. Well, well, they did something very clever, though, and I think this is why they did it. At the beginning of every Disney animated movie now, they use Steamboat Willie. They will argue that that Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse is a trademark that they use in their logo before all of their movies, and everybody identifies that Steamboat Willie. Well, that's great yes. until other versions start coming into public domain. They can't so they can just slap a whole montage up at the beginning. They can. They, they can. will. Maybe that's what they do with the Marvel movies. They have the whole montage of all the characters. Be like, yep, this is we're gonna copyright. Anyway, Disney always winds up uh, breaking copyright law. They yeah, they just hire a lot of lawyers to make it go away. So long, very long story short, they're gonna really? do a Stone or Winnie the Pooh movie. Yes, that's this comes from Mr. Milo on on PiratesandPrincesses.net. R rated. Yes, an R rated st Stoner comedy series with dude, Christopher Robin. Dude, where's my honey? Dude, where's my honey? <laughs> Dude, I like how oh, Mr. Marlowe put the bong in uh, oh Christopher God. Robin. He, he literally found pictures of, of like when they're tired, they're, they're, or they can't see something, so their eyes look like they're yeah, I know, right? stoned. It was glorious. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is uh, they talk about uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and then uh, we're talking. Which he said was not a very good movie. No, he did a review, which you linked the review a minute ago. He did a review on it, said it was eh. So here, Not good. here's the official synopsis of this stoner poo movie. Christopher Robin is a disillusioned New Yorker navigating his quarter life crisis with the help of the weird talking animals who live beyond a drug induced portal outside his derelict apartment <laughs> complex, the hundred acres. Oh, 
Well, it's interesting because it, a quarter life crisis, and you know, you laugh at that, but we see that more and more often happening on places like Twitter. Uh, this is uh, Nick Nantel, the executive vice president of creative affairs for Boat Rocker Studios. I think Boat Rocker Studios should contract with our comics company, and we can do some comics based on this. Try not. Well, yeah, you're, you're shaking your head. It's like, no, Disney's lawyers will be after us so fast. Really. Just, no, I'm not no. wasting time. You I'd rather make new things. You'd rather make you. money. Yeah, I'd rather make new things. <laughs> There are a few characters. There are a few characters more iconic and known the world over for their adventures than Christopher Robin, Wayne the Pooh. Uh, we're grateful to be working with the Bay Mills team, and we're going to take them to some really unexpected, funny places. So I'm sure they are. The characters from the Hundred Acre Wood are drug-induced. Uh, the, Ted. Well, no, this Ted is Ted. the actual character. These are like drug-induced hallucinations. You know, hallucinations. Um, by his 100-acre apartment complex. Oh, my God. In New York. People actually wondered if Christopher Robin was hallucinating or something. Well, they know, probably the took time. that and decided to make a show about let's, it. Let's pretend it's like, no, he probably had like a brain tumor or something, and that's why he saw the funny animals. Or His parents were giving him. He was possessed. He was possessed. Oh, my God. He's yes. possessed by an elemental bear. <laughs> that, would be, that would be great. <laughs> All he wants to do is eat honey. Oh, my God. Oh, see, you should be writing this stuff anyway. And honey um, is a is a is a is a slang term for some kind of drug. The whole heffalumps and woozles aspect might be kind of trippy, but that whole hef heffalumps and woozles that was supposed to be like a fever drink. Same with the pink elephants. Kids didn't get it back then, but it was supposed to be like, oh my god, I'm tripping. Basically, tripping. oh, uh, you know, Christopher Robin gets some bad shrooms. Yeah, this is, um, I don't know. I think we're going to see a lot of really weird crap. And apparently, uh, this actually could be hilarious. DC Comics, um, Superman, Batman are going to be on the table here pretty soon, too. Because, yeah. Cause, yeah. A lot of these, these, these stories, because uh, they don't make new things anymore. I'm, the 80s were the last time they got really creative. A lot of these stories come from, you know, turn of the century, you know, a little bit earlier, a little bit later around yeah. that time. That's where a lot of these properties come from, which is why a lot of them are in public domain or going into public domain now. Yeah. See, okay. So the whole copyright thing, the reason people are like, well, we don't, you know, quite understand. Well, what. they should have gone to public domain a long time before this. But corporations like Disney, mostly, mostly Disney, Disney, almost exclusively <laughs> Disney, um, they made sure they've, they've kept the uh, copyrights uh, locked down. Um, I think they actually, didn't they go, they bought Winnie the Pooh like, like outright, I think at some point. They did buy Winnie the Pooh um, outright, yeah. But here, here's, because the original intention of copyright, because back in the day, nobody could have foreseen these mega corps uh, you know, creating reboots and sequels and prequels and, you know, entertainment and merch based on stuff for decades, right? So back then it was basically to protect the author. And usually had like their kids, their family. And their, fa their family for their lifetime. Be like, okay, while you're still alive and maybe your kids too, um, you'll be able to make money off your stuff. But they never imagined like a Disney coming along and being like, we own everything forever, bitches, you know? Yeah. Like and Peter Pan in 1904, they didn't think, oh, my God, well, Disney's going to lock that thing down for decades. Yeah, some, somewhere in the Midwest, a child has been born. And that child will own everything you touch, everything you write, all of you. And, and his then, company, yeah. And his company and his descendants and his the I was like disciples. I would say disciples. Disciples. More than descendants. descendants his disciples. Disney's kind of got, got out oh, from their Oh, hey, own speaking company. of disciples, this, this is related but unrelated. Not really related, but speaking of disciples. So apparently, um, the dragon from Phantasmic, they yes. called it Murphy the dragon. Murphy. Murphy was a, the name for the dragon. Anyway. Um, Murphy. I don't, that's what they called it. Okay. It's Maleficent. I know, but they called it they Murphy. changed its gender. No, it just was been called Murphy. Okay. It's for you. Like RoboCop. I don't know, but it's no. called Murphy. Anyway, so when after Murphy's unfortunate accident, um, they were trying, somebody on Reddit was trying to get everybody to join together for a memorial service at Disneyland. Oh, no. And people were like roasting the shit out of him. And one of the cast members is like talking about working. And goes, I didn't know it was a cast member. I was working for a cult. <laughs> It was funny. So they're trying to do a memorial service for the Murphy the Dragon from Fantasmic. They're going to rebuild the damn dragon, probably in a safer way. It's like Robocop. Look, yes, it's going to look the same. It's just not going to hopefully catch on fire. <laughs> but they did a whole memorial service because they'll probably rename the, the next version, next iteration, something else. Yeah, it'll be like Robocop 2 where they go and get some drug addict's brain and put it into the second version of Robocop and it doesn't go very well. Wonder why. Yeah. So wonder why. Oh, that's actually 
I just thought sad. it was funny. But people so were people sad. were making fun of him so bad because they're like disciples cultists. They're like, you're going to have a memorial service for a dragon that's uh, animatronic. Um, that's going to be rebuilt. Yeah. But that version named Murphy will no longer be in existence. There'll have to be a new version. Built upon the bones of the old one. It's like necromancing. <laughs> necromancing. <laughs> hey, Disney's been accused of a lot of things. Necromancy, just throw it on a pile, right? You anyway. know, they'll, they'll do everything but bring Walt Disney back from no, the No, I could be confused with necrophilia. That's a whole separate subsect of Murphy fans. Okay. We're not going to talk about them. <laughs> so. Actually, they might bring Walt back from the dead just so he stops rolling over in his grave. You know? <laughs> oh, my God. They make fun of people for saying that, too, now. On the boards, every time someone says that, they're like, oh, my God, take a shot. Every time somebody says, Walt's rolling over in his grave, he'd be <laughs> dead. <laughs> so they'll bring him back and just be like, look, bitches, he's, he's right here. He's animatronic. You can come you know, see him. He can't be brought back because God's using him as a fan. <laughs> oh, I just got that because I'm <laughs> slow. I'm like a fan. Like he's a fan of God's. Oh, oh, like he's spinning and yeah. he's he's like an air conditioner for the good Lord. That's right. I got that. It took me a while. <laughs> it took but you I, a while. I, I did, look on your I face did, like... What? I don't, I don't get it. I thought, I thought it was like... Well, it's better than the original joke I got it from, which was involving masturbation. Whoa! And a okay. clock. But, you know... Okay. That is that is going to be another one of these uh, off-brand Disney movies. Do you want to hear the joke now since I brought it up? Well, uh, we're talking Peter Pan. We're talking children. You're so, talking clocks. Okay. You're well, talking I was that, a child when I heard Disney. it. I was, does that count? I was, I was under 18 when I heard it, even though I was a senior. Does that count? Is it... Oh, uh, I was still a child. Too early to drink. I was in my class in my homeroom in high school, and the one guy that sat uh, behind me, he was telling me a joke, and he said about, you know, this guy goes into this room, and there's all these these clocks, and they said that, you know, well, what's up with the clocks? And they say every time somebody, you know, does that, the, the hands go around once, and they said, and then he said, and, and then I asked, the guy asked, where's, and then said my name, where's her clock? Oh, it's in God, they're using it for a fan. Uh, <laughs> I about fell out of my chair. Because she does it a lot. That was the joke. But I fell out of the chair because I almost fell out of the chair because I was laughing so hard, yet so embarrassed at the same time. But I was laughing so hard. It was so flipping funny. And and then I just repurposed it, even though people don't care. Yeah, somehow dead Walt Disney is more tasteful than the version that you're telling I'm us. I'm just saying he's spitting so much that they're using yes. him as a fan. Okay. Okay. Now I, I understand the backstory. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so Christopher Robin, Robin, Christopher Robin. That's that's what the, that's how they get around the copyright. Hey, bro, I'm Christopher Robin. <laughs> Christopher Baking Robin. Baking my noggin. Christopher Robin. Played by Polly Shore. That'd be fun. Oh my god, he was putting pictures of himself up lately too. Wait, wasn't he in some like that Pinocchio off-brand Pinocchio movie? Wasn't that Polly Shore? Yes, it was. Hey, dudes, I'm Pinocchio. <laughs> What's so, up, man? Christopher Robin yeah. is going to be a a druggy who sees Winnie the Pooh and friends and Heffalump and Woozles. That's and actually else pretty funny. In his drug induced psychosis, um, to get through his 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 quarter life crisis because you're so damn old at twenty five. Um, well, unless unless he's got a short lifespan, we're talking like what if he's only like twelve? What if no, his no, he doesn't live in an apartment by or... himself. Doing drugs in New York City at 12. There are kids that live by themselves. Not that they cannot afford an apartment by themselves in New York City, even at a place called the Hundred Acres. And it's obviously a dive dump. They're not good. They're going to need at least another five other kids to help pay for it. And how, what are those kids doing to help? This is a Disney movie after all. Anyway, this isn't a Disney show. This is a Disney, uh, Disney adjacent Disney. Oh my God. That gave really dark. Like that's. Are we done? I, we are done. We you are. Just keep making it worse. If you open your mouth. I mean, I mean, I keep making it worse. Every time I that's called projection. Oh, bother. Pass the ball. Please don't do that. Oh. <laughs> Can we wrap this up, please? I'm seeing some crazy shit. Okay, that's I don't. <laughs> so bad. I'm not good at it. I'm sorry. Fuck Tigger. With a okay. comma, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, we need money for the drugs. Well, <laughs> so. you know, sometimes, sometimes like, you gotta get. Tigger likes to bounce.
Sometimes you gotta have that honey and you got that. Tigger likes to bounce, so can we wrap this up for the love of God? It doesn't take long. It's easy money. Can we please? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this up. This is an R-rated video. Go wrap it up. Please subscribe, please, <laughs> for more <laughs> garbage to your content like this. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.